Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Quite some time ago I made this center finder jig and you know they work great. The only problem is I, if I have a smaller piece of wood it doesn't work because there's nothing for it to line up against. In fact even if the wood is smaller uh, it places, you, you have to place it way in the middle and it's just awkward to use. What I want to do today is I want to make an adjustable sander finder where we can actually take these pins which are glued in and make them so that we can move them back and forth. So stick around and let's make this adjustable sander finding jig. Now really all you're going to need for this are some bolts and I like to have bolts where there's thread in one area and no thread in the other because that's going to replace these pins here. So basically this bolt is going to be able to move back and forth. What I want to do, I've got a square nut on here and I want to recess that square nut inside here and the wing nut will be on top and I've got two pairs of those and I'm going to use some oak that I have, a piece of oak. This one's 21 inches long, three quarters of an inch wide and I'm going to go right now over to the table saw and we're going to cut some rabbits in there that are going to accommodate these uh, square nuts. Now this jig is going to consist of two rails joined in the middle and, and in fact joined on the ends but I'm going to use bolts for that as well. Now it's much easier to cut the rabbits when the wood is whole like this and then I'll just cut the strips off after. So what I need to do is measure and I put my one of my circular saw blades in here with a very thin kerf because I need to cut a very very small a very fine rabbit in there. So the depth of the rabbits that I'm cutting are a little bit more than an eighth of an inch and I don't have a measuring block that's that small so I'm just using a drill bit and that'll work just fine to give me a very accurate cut. There's that rabbit cut and you can see how that bolt head just fits nicely in there. Now the next thing I need to do is cut the two strips. Now these strips can be any width but I'm going to make mine 3 8 and that makes them a little bit more stable and I'm just using one of my measuring bars to do that uh, and I'll put a link on there to Amazon so you can see what these look like. There's the two strips. What I need to do now is to cut the center part and because I know these bolts are quarter inch bolt I just need to cut a strip of quarter inch wood for that and I can again I can measure that by using my bar. In this case I'm measuring on the inside between the fence and the saw blade. Now I'm just going to do a quick check and make sure that there's enough room in there. That looks good. And you can see how that square nut fits right nicely in that rabbit. Now of course I don't need the whole length of the insert in the middle. So I've just marked it at three inches and I'll just cut that. So there's the way our jig is coming together and that's the center part that'll go in there. What I decided rather than cut more of these uh, for spacers in the ends I'm going to leave the ends open and I've just gone to my drill press and just drilled a couple of holes and I have a couple of uh, nuts and bolts that I can put in there and I'll just use washers or maybe even a wooden block in there uh, as a spacer. But what I need to do right now is to find roughly the center here and glue this up and while that's gluing up I'm going to take some time to cut the bolts off here because we don't need them. 
Well, I'm making some good progress here. You can see that it's all glued up, and there's the two pieces and the, the ends, how they're loose like that still because they don't have bolts in there. I took a moment to glue a piece of wood on the top, a piece of oak, and I even drilled a hole in it. This is a 930 seconds, and I found that's the best uh, the best size for most pencils and it's a little bit snug and it means you need to give them a little twist to put them in and pull them out but I don't when I find one that fits I just leave it in there unless I need to sharpen it now if you did wear out the pencil if it did get loose you could put another one in or the other thing you could do I'm not going to do that in this case but you could drill a little hole and put something like this you, of course you wouldn't put this big lump in here but you could use like a smaller little bolt or something just to tighten up that pencil inside anyway what I need to do right now I need to knock off these pieces here and find some spacers here and I think I'll just cut some wood that will fit in there and uh, we'll be ready to give this a try I've taken a minute now to install the bolts in the end and the purpose of having bolts in the end is if I ever want to tighten this up a little bit I can do that. If I had a piece glued in there I wouldn't be able to do that. Anyway let's put this together and we'll So for this one, I'm just using a driver bit, and again, I just need to loosen that up. And if I take my time and make sure I get that snugged up perfect, uh, we should get a perfect reading. So it needs to be snug against the pencil and snug against the bolt. And do the same on this side. Well, that concludes my video for today, and there it is, an adjustable center finder. Uh, in this case, it'll fit from about 20 inches wide right down to probably about 4 inches wide. So a great handy little tool, uh, and you only need one of these. You don't have to have three or four of them in different sizes. It'll fit everything. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.